What is going on YouTube? Fox here, welcome to you guys today with a brand new video, and in today's video, we are going to be playing Black Ops 4 in 2020. I'm going to see how the game is changed and all that good stuff, so I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's go, bros! We're shredding it up, bros! So, we're going to use the Strife, and we're already down two kills. So, one of my biggest, I guess my biggest pet peeve, besides the microtransactions, with Black Ops 4 was the Specialist. I'm not really a big fan of Specialists. I've said this before a bunch of times. But, I don't really like Specialists because I feel like it gives people cheap kills, and I just miss all my shots right there. I suck, apparently. Let's see here. We're going to go up here. Is there anyone up here? Nope. Don't see anybody up there. There's a guy. Where'd he go? Okay, using the crossbow! Now, towards the end of Black Ops 4's life cycle, I really enjoyed using the Strife Pistol. This thing was so fun to use, and I absolutely loved it. I would just go into free-for-all, and I could just play and use the Strife, and I'd be fine. I wouldn't have to worry about anything. I could just have fun with it, and people would get so mad because I'm using a pistol. And it's just fun to use, especially when you got a good trigger finger and things like that. Let's see here. Okay, the th crossbow, dude. People are still abusing this! Nope, get your crossbow out of here, bro. What are you doing? I think that all the DLC guns that came into the game were pretty freaking sweet. The only thing that I have a problem with is the fact that it, the, they were just locked behind the drops or the reserve cases or whatever, just like I just said, you know? Black Ops 4 got a lot of hate for reuse content. I think that some of that has to do with the fact that they were, uh, here's the BMP. I just tried to double jump or boost jump or whatever. Oh my goodness, dude. I should have switched. Should have switched. I just tried to double jump like it was BO3. <laughs> Guys, if y'all want me to do any other 2020 videos or whatever you guys want to call them, like the throwback videos for Call of Duty, let me know down in the comments. Comment something! And let me know which Call of Duty you guys want me to do next. Uh, we have a couple of them in the works, of course. Of course we do. Uh, we released Black Ops 2 yesterday. Uh, pre I really appreciate all the all the support. And I read all of your comments, so if you leave a comment, I'm pretty much going to respond to you, most likely, unless I somehow miss it, which I normally don't. So, oh man, here we go. Oh, well, okay. Triple okay, kill. well, we're gonna recharge ourselves right here. No! Almost had it there. We were going off just a little bit there, bros. There's one guy. We're gonna run away because uh, I really don't want to deal with that. There's a guy. I want to see if this guy comes through. Yep, there's another guy. I don't know where that... I don't know where the guy with the VMP went. Nope. The crossbow, bro! Use code FOXY at gpl.com for a discount. Okay, so it's been a while since I played Black Ops 4. And Treyarch revamped Black Ops 4 as far as the black market goes. So we're going to check this out because I haven't even, as you guys can see on the screen, I haven't even looked at this since they updated it. Now you can use reserve cases to unlock all available content in Blackjack Shop. That means weapons, Mastercrafts, MK2s, all that stuff. And I wish they had done this when the game was in its prime or in its life cycle. I wish it had done it at the start. But the reason I don't like specialists in this game is because I felt like specialists were way too easy to use. Uh, in Black Ops 3, you needed some type of like skill in order to use specialists. And in this game, it just doesn't feel like that. In this game, you can get cheap kills with specialists, in my opinion. And then, also on top of that, you have zero. And zero is just an awful specialist. It's literally requisitions, just in a different form. Or whatever. 
and it's awful. It's the worst thing ever. And then you also have the equipment. Now, the equipment for Black Ops 3 is one of the worst things about Black Ops 3, in my opinion. I mean, not Black Ops 3, I'm sorry. Black Ops 4. I don't like the equipment in Black Ops 4. I can't stand the equipment in Black Ops 4. I truly think that the equipment is, like, one of the worst things about Black Ops 4. Because, once again, it gives the noobs a little bit more of an edge. And, or it lets the noobs get easy kills. And that's just not how I was brought up with Call of Duty. So, I'm just not about that life <laughs> all right here i'll use nomad for a game and we'll see what happens i'm using the sog too i don't have the vmp so i guess the next best thing is the sog no one's over there there's a guy right there dude body armor will be the death of me i swear no oh Alrighty then all right let's everybody just calm the fuck down so guys let me know what uh what next gen call of duty is your favorite so out of World War II, Ghost, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, AW, Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, did I say World War II? And Modern Warfare, the new one that just came out. Let me know which one is your favorite. I don't really know if I have a favorite. Ah, Modern Warfare Remastered has a really special place in my heart, honestly. Modern Warfare Remastered is, is the game that I started the YouTube channel on. I guess got some coverage on the YouTube channel. But it raises a question to me. Recently, because I've been playing all these like throwback Call of Duties and things like that, I've been getting a lot of questions asking or kind of not re not really asking but saying i really hope that they remaster this game whether it's black ops 2 and black ops 1 those are the games that people are kind of looking at and saying man i really want them to remaster those games i haven't done a black ops 1 video yet so maybe we'll do that soon it's been almost 10 years that it's come out you know which is like pretty insane like i was in high school when that when that game came out so yep there we go Everyone hates Nomad in this game because it's cheap kills and you don't really have to do anything. You just have to let your dog run around and get the kills for you. And I agree, that's pretty cheap. But when you're playing free-for-all, it's super helpful, especially with the trip mines, in my opinion. God, that reload is slow. He's got extended mags on it, though, so I should be okay. Like, look how fast that time to kill is with this gun. There we go, we got the dog. And watch how easy it is. Watch how easy it is, boys. We got a bunch of people using Nomad. I don't even think he's gotten a kill yet. Oh, fuck. I see, he got somebody. There it is. Fucking A. Oh, didn't expect me to be on the ground, pretty much. Like, kind of crouched. We got a sniper's nest. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> Look at that. See here, we're gonna see if I can get this guy right here. There we go. See? Look at that. I can do it, too. It's super easy to do it, you know? It's not that hard. And I haven't even used the trip mines, but I'm going to now. <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. I will say that the streaks in this game are super rewarding. I love the streaks in this game. For the most part, I don't think that there's a lot of streaks in this game, which really sucks. I think that the Sniper's Nest is the best kill streak that we've had in recent Call of Duties. I, besides, I mean, obviously the Strike Team is really good too, but I think the Sniper's Nest is one of the best kill streaks in Call of Duty history, or score streaks or streaks that we've had in Call of Duty history, for sure. So, another thing about Black Ops 4 that people didn't like was the recycled content. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like it either. I didn't like the recycled content. Some of the recycled content was the maps, and a lot of people were pretty upset and pissed off about the maps in this game and how they were pretty much like remakes and stuff. <laughs> he shoot my body because I'm using the strobe light. If the original maps in the game are pretty good, I really wouldn't care about the remakes, you know? Continuing off the recycled content that I was just talking about, Everyone can hate on the recycled content, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I really like the fact that they brought back Reaper in this game. And I like how they added their own twists on to make the specialist fit in the game. Even though I don't really like specialists in general, I think it still shows, it, uh, shows that they can still make things work from other games and you know, put them in this game, you know? I just think that's really cool, if that makes sense. One of the things that I really didn't like, though, about this game was the fact that there was no advanced UAV or uh, VSAT or Blackbird, whatever you want to call it, and I think that was a really, really big mistake. I understand we have recon, and I, I get that, I do, but I feel like the advanced UAV is just a pretty much like a staple in COD now. 
So we're using the uh, the rocket gun. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're using the Essex Stingray, and I'm using Spectre because Spectre's awesome. He's got an awesome specialist. You go in third person, and you just start like destroying everyone with your sword. I think that's awesome. <laughs> this thing was so overpowered when it first came in the game. They definitely nerfed the hell out of it, dude. But then they nerfed the rockets on the gun because it, it was just insane. It was overpowered as fudge. And then they changed the regular weapon from projectile to regular hit scan or whatever you want to call it. I don't know the technical terms. D go watch Exclusive Ace or J God if you want technical terms. The gun wasn't projectile anymore. So that made this gun insane without the, the rockets on it. And that's just crazy to me. So this is a Mastercraft for this weapon. And I don't remember ever getting this personally. And as you guys can see, because this map is so dark, it's very, very campy. And this is one thing that Modern Warfare... I mean, oh, oh my goodness, this is not Modern Warfare. This is one thing that Black Ops 4 did pretty well. I didn't really complain about it too much unless the map sucked, like this one. Or Arsenal Sandstorm. Or, um, let's see, what, what's another one that really sucked? Uh, Jungle Flood isn't that bad, in my opinion. They, they didn't have to do it, but it's not that bad. Hurricane Con Contraband is pretty awesome. I don't really mind it. I wish they had done a summer version of Nuketown. That would have been really, really cool to see, in my opinion. But they did this for a bunch of them. And I really wish they had done, like, a, a Christmas-themed map. Or, like, a holiday-themed map. Uh, I don't think they did one. But I know that Nuketown has snow on it, so I guess they didn't want too many snowy maps with Ice Breaker, or Ice Ice Breaker, as I like to call it. And then Summit, and then Nuketown, all snow maps, you know? Body armor. Who runs body armor? All right, let's see. All right, we're about to use the Stingray, but I'm going to show you guys what it's like without the operate without the operator mod. And I'm just going to show you guys how it's... It's so nuts. It's so nuts. So it's not projectile anymore, and it was at the beginning, and that kind of made the weapon pretty bad. So they changed it to hit scan or hit whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. And that just makes this gun absolutely nuts. But guys, well, let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of Black Ops 4? Do you guys think Black Ops 4 is a good game? Do you guys think it's a bad game? Me personally, I don't think it's a bad game as far as gameplay. I wish the maps were a little bit better. I wish that the gameplay wasn't relied on specialists as much. I think that BO3 specialists did it right, honestly. And I really wish that the microtransactions hadn't been so predatory in the beginning of the game's life cycle, at least when they first got brought in because that really sucked that it really did and just like world war ii it kind of blew it for me in a way the microtransactions are a huge buzzkill when it, when i'm thinking of games that i kind of enjoyed or started to enjoy and then uh, it just kind of just deteriorated because i, I like the games but then the microtransactions got so out of hand that it pissed me off that that's one of the big reasons why i wasn't a huge fan of this game near the end of the game's life cycle because they started putting all the guns in the supply crates and things like that and it just it really really pissed me off because it shouldn't be like that in games man i didn't mind the battle pass i didn't mind that we had to grind the battle pass in order to get the weapons i was fine with that and i did that i was completely fine with having that through the whole game's life cycle to be honest and we have that modern warfare and i don't have a problem with that modern warfare see here we're gonna go up here is there anyone over here oh yeah there's a guy sitting in a corner get out of that corner I should probably have extended mags on this, but I don't. I don't see anyone! Surprise, oh no! So there's a rumor going around that the next Treyarch game is going to be a reboot? That's the rumor? I, that rumor was like last year though. Like that, that rumor came out last year and I remember when that rumor came out because Modern Warfare hadn't even been announced yet, but it was kind of like, oh, Modern Warfare is rumored to be a reboot, so I think that the next Treyarch game is gonna be a reboot as well. Hopefully that kills him. God, come on! But I'm not really sure. I have no idea, truthfully. And honestly, let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. Would you guys want a Black Ops reboot? for Call of Duty 2020. Personally, if they did it right and if the microtransactions weren't bad and they had a non-campy Call of Duty game, and it, the, the rumor going on around right now is the fact that the new engine is going to be used for all the new COD games. Cool, I understand that. that, that makes a lot of sense. But I don't want all the new Call of Duty games to play like Modern Warfare. That's just a camp fest, that's disgusting. I don't want that, not at all actually. But who knows, maybe some people might like that. 
I don't really know. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know which Call of Duty you guys want me to go back to down in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!